the definition well, let me in have legislation. Another go, Minister. So in a couple of weeks' time, we're going to have a, a coronation, a wonderful, beautiful event in our great country. If anybody gets in the way, they will be removed quickly. But if a group of XR turn up today on Whitehall, they will block that road off and they'll be left there. Buckle up, my friend. You're in for a very bumpy ride. But anyway, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. And is this nasty piece of work? Yes. Tory MP, 30p Lee Anderson, the deputy chair of the Tory party and MP for Ashfield, really demanding to stop anybody the right to a peaceful protest. Why am I saying this? Well, in yesterday's Home Affairs Select Committee meeting, Chris Felp, Minister for Crime, Policing and Fire, was being asked about policing priorities. Well, after 30p Lee had started sounding quite reasonable, you know, with his question, because he started about policing and uh, the police dealing with people with mental health issues, his rhetoric then took a quite dark and very unsavoury turn and take notice of which protesters he is talking about. I'll just touch on something else, please, Minister. Uh, the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Act, a brilliant piece of legislation, I think. Uh, but we were told at the time by certain groups that it would affect liberties in this country. Is there any evidence that that's true? And also, <coughs> are the, um, I've not seen much evidence of, of uh, it actually working on the streets of London when we've seen people still gluing themselves <laughs> to pavements, creating nuisances, tying yeah. themselves to bridges, etc. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't think the PCSC bill, uh, I was the bill minister in the MHA for that bill, uh, I don't think it curtails um, civil liberties. Um, I think we do need to go further, in fact, to prevent protesters deliberately, deliberately and intentionally obstructing members of the public going about their day-to-day -day business. It is not reason the right to protest, which obviously we all support, free yeah. speech we support, that, that right does not extend to stopping... Why aren't police doing it? Why aren't police carrying out the so job? Let me, let me finish, Lee. Yeah. So, so the right to protest obviously does not extend to deliberately stopping members of the public, getting their kids to school, getting to hospital for an appointment, getting to their place of work, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. That's why um, we're strengthening, firstly, the legislation with the public order bill, the new public order bill, currently going through Parliament. We obviously had the, uh, what I hope is the last bit of ping-pong uh, yesterday evening. We're hoping to get, assuming their lordships um, uh, agree to the position, um, we're hoping to get royal assent as early as, as next week. Um, that will uh, clarify the definition of what constitutes serious uh, disruption, as I think it defines it as anything more than minor inconvenience to the general public. That will. In other words, they want you to protest in your back garden, out of the way, so nobody can see you. That's all it is. <laughs> Disgraceful, Chris Phelps. <laughs> Give a clearer um, statutory basis for the police um, to, uh, to act. Um, we're obviously in dialogue. I talk to the police a lot about this. Um, both the Commissioner Mark Rowley um, and uh, Assistant Commissioner Matt Twist, who's in charge of that bit of the Met, um, I've made clear the public expectation that the public are able to go about their lawful daily business. They, we had a meeting at Number 10 about this back in December. The police made clear they wanted this definition of serious disruption um, delivered. By next week, I hope we'll have done that. And you know, um, I expect the highways to be kept clear. You know, last year on the um, on the Mall <coughs> during I think it was the uh, Jubilee celebrations, there was one person who jumped in front of the procession. He was removed within 20 seconds by officers, and that procession went on. Why can't the police do that now? Yeah. Well, I'm proved they can do it, given the right occasion. Why can't they do it and let people go about their business right now, today? Yeah. Well, obviously, willful obstruction of the highway um, is an offence under Section 137 of the Highways Act 1980. Uh, speaking from memory, it is a criminal offence. Um, am I right? It is indeed. Good. Yes. Thank you. Um, and you know, I expect that law to be upheld. Um, there is some case law which says in relation to that offence that the police and the courts need to take into account Article 10 and Article 11, ECHR rights to free speech and free assembly and so on. Um, but you know, I think the balance, as you do clearly as well, the balance is in the wrong place, which is why um, we're clarifying the definition well, let me have another go, Minister. So in a couple of weeks' time, we're going to have a, a coronation, a wonderful, beautiful event in our great country. If anybody gets in the way, they will be removed quickly. But if a group of XR turn up today on Whitehall, they will block that road off and they'll be left there.
Well, if they if they cause why the, is that the police? It, well, because there's this balancing exercise with um, the right to free assembly and protest. But um, my view, as I've made very clear, is that. The, the, the right to protest does not extend to deliberately and intentionally setting out to obstruct other members of the public. And that's why I've made that view clear to the police. And it's why we're clarifying the definitions in the legislation currently going through Parliament. Oh. You think there's reluctance or the police haven't got the competence to, to remove these um, protesters? Well, I, I think the conversation between these two is absolutely disturbing, isn't it? I always thought the whole point of protesting was to cause as much uh, as much uh, problems as you possibly can. That's the whole point of a successful protest, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Is it now where we have to just protest in his back garden or in a in a park where nobody goes into? This man is just it is just reminds me of that. The book, 1984, what does he want next? The Thought Police. I think we've had a couple of actually helpful um, legal judgments recently which um, make, make clear that when disruption gets beyond a certain point, the police can and should uh, intervene. I certainly expect them to, um, but we're strengthening the law as well, right? It's worth adding, I mean, the police have arrest, arrested of just of oil protesters. They'd arrested nearly 2,000 by January 23, so they are making arrests, of course. We see the examples that are very frustrating when they're not doing that, but we have seen under this minister and the Home Secretary's direction a real uptick in determination, I think. No, so we were talking about Extinction Rebellion, just stop oil and insulate Britain, if I remember rightly. Didn't mention anything there about his mate who has strong ties to that extreme right wing party, did he? And that's why I mentioned peaceful protesters, you know, those who, as far as I've seen, whether you agree with their methods, they do make an effort to be extremely, impeccably peaceful. And it also reminded me, like I said, of the Thought Police and. This authoritarian world in George Orwell's 1984, Oceana. And if you're a fan of this type of uh, action from the police, I always say be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Because one thing I've learned about these type of people are the fact that they're up for this type of action and love it when it's happening to people who they don't like until the police and the government turn their attentions on them especially when it's their turn to be upset by an extreme government and even this extreme Brexit Tory government. Sadly, unfortunately, like as in 1984, it's usually too late by then, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below and uh, till the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends. <laughs>